So, damit kommen wir zum letzten Match dieses Abends und wir kommen zu einem jungen Engländer, der hier sein Debüt auf der European Tour gibt, von Beruf ein Küchenmeister, aber der hier gezeigt hat, dass er es auch versteht, Darts zu werfen, hat gestern Chris Doby bezwungen. Und damit begrüßen wir ihn hier ein zweites Mal in der Halle 39, Ted Evans. Ted Evans fordert die Nummer 1 der Belgier heraus. Er ist aktuell die Nummer 13 der Welt, hat vier Prototurniere, PDC-Titel also einsammeln können in seiner Karriere. Zwei davon auf der European Tour aus Antwerpen. The Hurricane, Kim Heibrechts. Game of the second round here, the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. We have just seen Michael Van Gogh in the world number one book his place in the final day of action. Peter Snakebite Wright with an average of nearly 114, the highest one we've seen this weekend, the second highest we've seen at this tournament here in Hildesheim behind MVG's own nigh on 118 in the final last year. But Robbie Green's hopes of making the European Championships have come to an end. Jamie Caven clings on to that last qualifying spot. I've just heard word from Jamie Caven. He's very grateful and a little nervous. He didn't phrase it like that. But I've translated it for you from the mildly. East Midlands dialect. <laughs> this final game sees Kim Hybrex, a man who has won two Euro Tour titles, a man who's been playing some really good darts for a number of weeks now, taking on Ted Evitz who is in uncharted territory. Managed to get a first win on the European Tour yesterday. Now looking to make the final day of action. He's a player that a lot of people have said to me, one to watch out for. And, well, this would be a big, big win in the 19-year-old from Warwickshire's career. Rob Malarkey joining me, Dan Dawson, in the commentary box for the England, final England. game of the night. First leg, it's Ted to throw first. Game on. Well, he really caught the eye yesterday in beating Chris Doby 6-2. Chris Doby was an odds-on favourite to win that match. Doby soon found himself 5-0 down. And even though he managed to get a couple of legs on the board, Evans came through with an average of almost 89. But as you say, Dan, Kim Hybrix has been in terrific form of late. Since the beginning of September, just to quickly recap what he's done, he's reached a European Tour final. He's made three semi-final appearances in ranking events and he can also boast a first ever run to the last eight of the World Grand Prix as well. So, all in all, it's not been a bad six weeks for him. Yeah, well, I'll be honest, he probably should have won his third Euro Tour well, title. 99. He had seven darts to do it. I wasn't going to mention that. I'm wow. sure he's well aware of that as well. Yeah, I'm sure he was. <laughs> I'm sure he's still reliving that moment. Yeah. 96. Not reminded him of it in person. But Ted Evitz, as I say, certainly wasn't overawed on his European 44. Tour debut yesterday. Came through qualifying, two rounds of qualifying, beating Ricky Evans and Aaron Monk, former World Youth Champion. Came through Q School in January 100. this year. It's been a good year for Ted Evitz, winning automatic tour card for the PDC Pro Tour. And what a time of it he's had of late as well, beating Dave Chisnell twice in Players' Championship events in Barnsley well, last month. He beat him 6-4 in the 14th Players' Championship event and then beat him again 6-1 two days later. 98. Ted Yeo 180. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> Doesn't work in an audio format, this particular We'll get to that in a moment. Bear with us. Double 19 for Ted Evitz. Oh, 99. misses inside. Kim Hybrex for a break 72. of throw. Looking at the 16s. Another one of those for tops. Double top. 32. A let off. Ted, you require 19. So, Ted Evitz, the 19 year old, to go into the lead against the number five seed. Three double eights for a hold of throw. Sharp intake of breath. 11 score. Evitz. 40. And K 
Kim has been let back in here. Game shot on the first leg. Kim Hybrid. Now, second leg is Kim to throw first. Game on. He looked a little bit nervy when he came on stage yesterday against uh, Dobie, which is understandable. But once he got that first leg on the board, he seemed to be born again. And he duly kicked on. Just 96. hope that missed dart at double four doesn't prey on him too much longer. It was on the high. Sorry, it was uh, a break of throw as well for uh, high breaks too. One hundred and eight. But he looks to have got over it. He can't respond any better than that, having broken in the opening leg, firing in a maximum. Ted Evans. Ninety-five. Is he a Ted? Is he an Edward? Is he a Theodore? Paul Nicholson tells me he's an Edward. An Edward. 140. Nicholson's looking at me. As if, as if you just made that up. <laughs> well, as you said earlier on, Nicholson says a lot of stuff. 180. 180 right back at you I from Kim Hybrex. We had a big conversation about darts players' full and real names yesterday, and he's looking at me as if it never happened. 57. Kimmy Aguirre, 130. The so. 180 to leave the 130. If he takes this out, it's 310 in six darts, and that is world-class stuff. Bullseye for 2-0. 105. Just the 25. Ebbets looking at a ton plus to level the match. Trouble 20, the first dart. Yes. 14s now. Gets the treble, double 11 for Ted Evans for an 11, 12 data, Game sorry, that is superb. Ted superb response Third from Ted Evans. Game on. Very nicely done indeed. Back on track, break of throw, 124 checkout. We saw something similar in that uh, win over Dobie yesterday as well. I will just refer to my notes. Please do. 60. I like the look of Evans. He seems to got a very solid throw. He has that very deliberate action where he sets it up make sure his arm is in the right place seems to go very straight back and forth we'll have to get paul nicholson who is a far greater technician than i to have a look at it but yeah it was a, one, a 104 check out in the very first leg ah, there you go. Uh, on the break of throw as well for uh, evitz yesterday that was one two four and that was against kim hybrids as well Ninety-nine. It's the first chance I've had to watch a game of Ted Evans in detail. I'm trying to work out who he reminds me of. I've been Forty-six. Frantically googling pictures of a young Colin Montgomery. Try it at home, kids. It will. It's just glaringly obvious. I mean, I was I was 57. racking my brains all day yesterday trying to think who it was. And in a flash. Yeah, it all looks good. The dart's going in the board. Nice and straight. He doesn't rush. A lot of the young players you'll see now, I mean, they can't, cannot wait to get rid of the darts. Just get them out of their hand. It can be a good thing in many respects to be a rapid player, a rhythm player, if you like. Ebbett, there you see. Very straight, doesn't seem any no shoulder movement at all. It's moving from the elbow, quite easy. It looks good, it looks yeah. smooth. And he has a cushion here as well. A bit more force in Kim Hybrex. There's a bit more shoulder movement in there. I mean, he makes it work for 139. Ted Yuriquan, 97. And 97 for Ted Everts to go into the lead for the first time. Trouble 19 for double top. Very good. Game Super shot the third leg. Ten Evans. Fourth leg, it's Kim to throw first. Little Game wonder on. his girlfriend's looking pleased. Georgia. Watching on, having made the trip over. 140. Talked about uncharted territory. This is not uncharted territory for Ebbets in that he has been to Germany already this year for the development tour. Made the quarterfinals of one of those events in April of this year. 41. I don't yeah. think Georgia bothered making the trip over for that one. But she's here this weekend. Do we have the entire Ebbets party travel itinerary for 2016? <laughs> 100. I have his passport details here. <laughs> Edward Ebbets. <laughs> I was going to wind you up and say his real name was Eduardo. <laughs> 
100. Well, if Kim Hybrex was hoping that he'd go up against a 19-year-old lad playing for the first time in the second round of a Euro Tour event, and he was just going to roll over for him, particularly with, you know, Hybrex, he has pedigree. He has won a couple of these events. He's quite an intimidating, fiery character up on that stage. Nothing of it. Ted Abbott's is giving as good as he's getting. 133. Stomp to the board from the Belgian. He looks absolutely nerveless now, Everts. It's got to be. It's got to be a bit strange. I know he's played a lot of development tour and he has been playing some of the senior events 32. as well. Game shot on the fourth That's two leg. apiece, Kim 13 Hybrex. darter, Kim Hybrex just leg, it's Ted to throw giving it a bit of a on. But it's got to be, you know, you're in the practice room, you've got Michael Van Gerwen, who's just come off stage. Peter Wright has just averaged 114. And it takes a while for young players to believe they belong 60. in this illustrious company. It's got to be intimidating mm. to step into that practice. It's quite a small practice room we've got here in Hildesheim. We've got, the, I think it's five boards they might have set, maybe six. 60. And you've got all these guys who are the giants of the game that you are hoping to be a force in. And you've got to convince yourself 60. as well as them that you deserve to be there. But you no. are worthy of sharing exactly. a practice room with them, yeah. Let alone a big stage in front of 2,000 fans. <laughs> Ted Evans is acquitting himself very well. 100. Yeah, and win or lose this match, I think he can go home very pleased with what he's done this weekend. And who's to say he won't win? It's two apiece. And, OK, he's got work to do in this particular leg because... He scored 120 with his first six 100. starts. 100. Steve West awaiting the winner of this one. Of course, we have got the round of 16 nice. pretty much set up. Michael Van Gerwen against Daryl Gurney. That's the number one and number 16 seeds. Mensor Sulevich will face Dave Pallet, a repeat of their world championship clash, which was absolutely 60. spellbinding. Went to a deciding set. Both men missed the final dart for nine dart finishes. Steve West will face the winner of this one. And Ian White, Alan Norris, 60. both seeded players. That completes one half of the draw. In the other half of the draw, it's Peter Wright, who was so good tonight against Joe Cullen, who managed to overcome not only the volcano Robert Allenstein, but 2,000 German fans who were giving him something of a hard time. Christo Reyes, having seen off Benito van der Pass, has another Dutchman in yellow class. And Mark Webster, another unseeded player. He's up against the ball, Terry Jenkins, who beat his good mate Andy Smith in a deciding leg. And Dave Chisnell. Number three seed, two-time finalist on the Euro Tour this year, faces Justin Pipe. But look now at this then. from Ted Evitz. Double 16 for 3 2. Oh, he's 67. gone into the eight. Give me a 88. Real chance of a break here for Kim to punish Evitz. Bully wants. Game Bully shot gets. Fifth leg. Kim Hybrid. There's a Six brutal leg Kim to throw first. harsh lesson for Ted Evitz there. Game on. Take your opportunities, otherwise you will be punished in devastating fashion just like that. Hybrex has the break once again. Leads 3-2. He's broken back once 43. already. He needs to do it again, but that's an opportunity already to get out of the blocks here and steal a march on Hybrex. Well, in the second leg, having been broken, he fired in a 180 and broke straight back. 85. Great first dart. Not quite hitting the heights this time around, and Kim Hybrix has an opportunity to turn the screw. 81. Not really done the job there. Fifty-eight. One hundred. Well, on four occasions this year in Europe, Kim Hybrex has lost to Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-finals. They're on nice course four. again to meet in the semi-finals once more. Should both players get that far? Hybrex won't be thinking about that just yet. Well, he certainly won't. He's being 
made to grab. 96. By Everts, who, I have to say, very impressed with his demeanour. He doesn't look flustered. He looks very calm. There's no discernible difference or change in the throw. It looks very smooth. You can see some players, when they come under pressure, then the throw can kind of change. You can see it speed up or slow down. You can see a bit of the shoulder come into it, but it does look very, very smooth. And he's left 133. Very difficult this. Like possible now. There's no guarantee that Ibrix will take out the 97. So if he can leave himself handy, and he's going to do that. Yeah, 56 remaining, so 16 leaves top. 93. Ibrix has better take this out. Otherwise, Everts might well break back. <laughs> oh, he went for it. He went for it. 73. Ted, you require 40. Double 19, double 19. Game shot on the sixth leg. Ted Everts. Well, a break straight Seven back for the second time the in this match. Kim Hybrex has broken Ted Everts. Only to see Everts break Game straight on. back. Hybrex going for the double double finish there. Unable to get the first double that would have let him have a dart at double top. But, sorry. Ted Everts capitalizes upon it. 134. And kicks off 134. Forty one. Hmm. Shake of the head. Having worked so hard to get himself back in contention. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Well, Ton forty halves his score, but it's still a big ass to take out the ton forty on a double. We need two trebles. Ten Everts needs to find a treble himself. Does not do it. And now it is advantage well, high breaks. Level ton he's looking for now. Should be able to find the treble from there. And does do. Does exactly Ten that. Well, 128. Team well, Everts can barely watch. Taking out 124 already today. Can he take out 128? Well, that's a step in the right direction. Oh, another one of those would have left double 10. It looked really inviting, but loads of room to find that. Treble 18 for a second time, but Kim Hybrex breaks straight there. back. It's Kim three Hybrex. consecutive breaks of throw, and it's a topsy turvy game this first. one. Game Never on. more than a leg between them, but Hybrex now looking to open a bit of daylight here. One hundred and forty. Something that was brought to our attention just a moment or two ago, and it was evident there again. Kim Heinrich just clutching his upper right arm as he, away, as he retrieved his darts and then walked away. If he, if he has strained it, you can do it. If you're playing a lot and practicing a lot. I mean, these guys, they do it so often. They, they usually know how to take care of their throwing arm. But he is... Going to the back of the stage and holding it just below the sort of elbow area. You may have got some sort of strain there, perhaps. And it you can't quite tell with Kim because he's so, you know, he, he pulls faces like some angry, 95. rabid rodent when he's throwing anyway. But if he is in pain, you wouldn't know because he's probably just pulling those faces anyway. It's just that rubbing of the arm that suggests, oh, that's unfortunate. 57 on the floor there. Yeah, puff of the cheeks from Evans. 58. And to rub salt Give into the wounds. 126. He finds the one. Ninety-four. Double 16 remaining there for Hybrex. For a 5-3 lead. 
Yeah, good strong leg. And even though he did have that 57 on the floor, Ted Everts. Oh, look at this. What a response. 121. And there's just signs of frustration now from Ted Everts. He can see that this game may be getting away from him. He has traded blows with Kim Hybrex here. But the number five seed may be about to pull away. Double 16 for 5 3. And he Game sneaks it in the eight, corner there. Eight. It is him. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a quick look Nine before you celebrate. Throw first. Game on. Didn't trust Kirk Bevin's call there. Yeah, he said he didn't see. And, well, it's a measure of how much of a workout he's been given here by Ted Evans that Hybrex was greeting that with a big, big sigh of relief because 60. it's not been easy for him by any stretch of the imagination uh, and this is a good performance from Kim Hart he's averaging 97 and hit more than half his darts a double this is 60. good solid stuff from Kim Hybrex all right he's, he's not had the the big scoring that we've seen from him at times over the last few weeks when he's played some excellent darts but when it comes to the back end of legs he's been pretty good and he's had to be Evitz has made him do that One hundred. Nothing wrong with that checkout ratio from Ted Evans either. Forty-three percent, pretty good stuff. That one, two, four was an absolute belt. Forty. This could hurt though. Yeah. One hundred and forty. And Evans under pressure now. Needs to fill it up, really. I think this may be slipping away from the teenager. Oh, 43. Just now. a 43, a wipe of the hands across the trousers. Maybe it is just... It's different conditions. He's not used to it. He's played, you know, plays a lot of development tour and he's played ACR. pro tour stuff. But up on this big stage, this heat late at night is very hot in here. 2,000 fans. He's acquitted himself very, very well, but Kim Hybrex is looking at a Shanghai finish to close this out 6-3 and book a place in the last 16 to face Steve West tomorrow afternoon. Double top for Kim Hybrex. And the Belgian misses. And Ted Evans has to take this out. One more chance to give us a reminder of what he can do, but it won't be for Ted. Where does he go from here? 60. Give me your quad 20. So double 10 for Kim. Double 5 for Kim. And Evans 16 will return. Said you require 80. Three match darts missed. Kim Hybrex knows he would have to throw in the next leg if Everts takes this out. 20 for double top. He'll only get the one dart. One dart Everts does not move. Thinks he can go to the Six. right, and he smashed it into that dart Maybe there. Maybe a little four. step to the right or the left may have paid dividends there. But Kim Hybrex has missed three match darts. To win it on double one. No score. And he's now missed six match darts. Said you require 20. And Georgia can't believe the look. Because Ted Everts is back in business here. Double 10. Take us into a tenth leg. leg. Ted Evans. Tenth leg, it's Kim to throw first. Game on. And, well, almost apologetically making his way back to the table there. Ted Evans seemed a little bit embarrassed to win that leg, but he should take 97. it. 97. Don't you worry about it, Ted. You take any gift that you can get from these guys because they don't give you many. 59. The thing is, we know, we have seen repeatedly on the development tour, the standard that we see on a regular basis on the development tour is phenomenal. Another grab of the arm there from Kim Hybrex. 46. Yeah, and that's so it's more pronounced. Seven, yeah. But you speak to the markers and the officials on the development tour, and they will tell you that some of the standard is frightening. These guys have the ability to put little runs of legs together. All right, they're not as consistent as the top guys, but when they're at their best, they are phenomenal. Kim's and struggling here, actually. He is. And Ted Evitz knows that if he can just go... 121. Look, if he can see this off in nine darts, 
and then produce a 12 darter in the decider. This game is his. This game could yet be his. 140. Yeah, those two trouble nine scenes in the previous visit from Everts really got his uh, game going here. 121. Back to back one two ones for Hybrex though. It and is. he is down to a finish first on his throat. It is getting worse, whatever that problem is, Kim Hybrex. And this is a man, if he does want to win a third Euro Tour title, not only does he have to win this game, he would have to win four games tomorrow. It does not bode particularly well, but can he close this out here? Now, 96 left. He wants to stay in the treble 20. Moves right over to that side. Can't quite find his way through. Evitz has got that 140 again. He couldn't take it out last time. 45. Oh, now then, a bit of a lifeline. Bit of a lifeline. An extra 15 points there would have guaranteed Kim Hybrex two darts for the match, and he may not even come back to the board. Evitz can't take out the 140. He needs to go high with this. Does what go high. That's all he can do with that final dart, and he's just got to hope and pray that Hybrex fluffs his lines here. 32 remaining. He's struggling. His arm hurts, but he knows that he may only need to throw one more dart to get this one in the bag and come back tomorrow. Rested, rejuvenated. And hopefully, from the Belgian's point of view, able to win a third Euro Tour. It's not going to be one dart, might be two. Get it is two. He match. missed seven match darts there, Kim Hybrex, before he finally pinned double eight. Ted Evitz, I think, has impressed a lot of people here this weekend on his Euro Tour debut. Kim Hybrex is through. He is still in the hunt for a third Euro Tour title. He will face the informed Steve West in the last 16 tomorrow. We will be back 1 p.m. local time here from Halle 39 in Hildesheim for the culmination, the final day of Euro Tour action of 2016 for the Happy Bet German Darts Championship. Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright, Jelle Klaassen, Mensor Sulevic, Dave Chisnell and Kim Hybrex amongst the competitors who will be crowned the German Darts Championship champion for 2016. Join us tomorrow and find out. Kim, congratulations. Be careful with the young kids. They are dangerous, aren't they? Yeah, they're very dangerous. Good players. He's one for the future. Um, he's got a lovely style. I am, um, I've watched him on the Pro Tours. Um, watched him play. He's got a perfect style. He's going to make it, I think. Okay. Arm is hurting a little bit? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, last three weeks, I've got a tennis elbow. Um, so... We, um, Sometimes it hurts a lot, sometimes it's all right, but I've been here since six. Maybe too much practicing now for me. Um, it's hurting now. Steve West is uh, waiting tomorrow. He's, he's in a good form right now. He played well at the World Grand Prix and he as well. Yeah, yeah it's good form. Um, I'll have to play my best. Good preparation tomorrow and we'll see what happens. Looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Be careful. <laughs> Kim. Kim Albrecht. Also sagt dieser Ted Evans, hat einen wunderbaren Stil, hat eine tolle Technik, das wird einer für die Zukunft sein und er ist natürlich froh, dass er durch ist.